hello everyone so you see in today's video i just want to be as raw as i possibly can i haven't even decided on how i'm going to title this video to so the title that you're seeing right now i decided it after but it, it, i just want to talk and i just want is this going to help somebody i know what i'm about to say is going to help somebody because this is too much in me it's too much in my mind it's too much like i'm having so much to say this is what i've been thinking about all along and it's going to help you when it comes to your ordained spouse because i get to realize that many people are missing out especially ladies just that with men um uh, i don't in okay even i think even with men i do i just i haven't thought about it but ladies especially please 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 it's not like god is not answering you i'm here to share with you something that just happened and it's a real story just that i won't reveal the names on all because hey we don't know who's watching and i don't want to get into trouble you know one of the people might be watching so it's better that i hide the identities as much as i possibly can so but then uh, there is this lady uh she's, she's like she's uh i don't know i'm not sure if she's still or she was in it because it's so complicated but in some sort of a a, a guy or a man who does not treat her right you know doesn't treat her well he doesn't do anything nice doesn't spoil her like you know all those things so but then um in fact that man is even a, a when i hear it's like he's a div is coming from a divorce so he just got in a relationship with her and then um but she realizes that this man, like, you know what, is not treating me right. I want a guy who's going to love me and blah, 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 blah. So finally, he managed to see this other guy he was crashing on. Uh, this guy is a, is a cousin of a, of a friend, you know. So, but and she was like, oh, I'm crashing on your friend, blah, 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 blah. But then, so to cut the long story short, that crash, that crash, is it the crash or whatever? Yeah. He ended up liking her back, but the problem is like the lady is still too attached with the guy who's toxic towards her, you know, it's abusive and all those things. Not abusive, maybe physical, I'm, I'm not sure about, but I'm trying to say in an emotional way, let's put it like that. And finally, she got a chance. She spoke with the guy that she's been crushing on, who's a uh, cousin of a, of a friend, isn't it? The guy is interested, but now the moment that it starts to show her interest, she begins to lose interest. It was up until uh, she discovered that that guy, that uh, friend, uh, I mean, the cousin of a friend, is also seeing uh, he got a, a, a new girl. It's like he was talking to her while he was already now in a new relationship. So, and, but she didn't know that. So she, after talking to the, um, to her, her friend about the cousin, that, you know, you know, I spoke with your cousin, the lady was like, but it seems like uh, I'm losing interest. Uh, maybe you can just be friend because your, your cousin is funny and all. But eh, to me, it seems like uh, it's not maybe matured enough and all. That's how she said it. So then the cousin, out of retaliation, because the cousin saw that this girl, my friend, that girl who's dating a man who's not treating her right, she realized that this lady has a problem. And she was like, she retaliated, defending her cousin, her guy, the guy. But you know what? Because she realized this lady is taking my, my, my cousin for a ride. And she was like, you know what? He, got, he just got a new girlfriend. I didn't know that you guys are even talking and stuff. Then that lady now, she's getting angry. Let's, okay, let's call it Lady A, okay? If you didn't understand the story well, I just rewind. The lady who's dating a man who doesn't treat her, her right and blah, blah, blah it's lady a okay then her best friend is lady b okay and then the cousin is the um, right guy call him the right guy then the uh, guy that is not treating her is the wrong guy okay so yes so lady b tells lady a that you know what i didn't know that you're still talking with the right guy my cousin okay and then she, then she was like as a new girl and then now lady a is now offended although she was thinking of even uh making him a friend no longer dating him but she gets angry now she's feeling like she's got played like the all men are the same you know she retaliated 
So then it was so confusing because now Lady B told their cousin, the right guy, that you know what, this lady was doing this and this. I didn't know you guys were still talking. But now I'm surprised that now that she learned that I told her that you, you got a new girl, she gets angry. She's angry now and she's even posting this on her status, it's on her social media. So I don't get this girl because she even asked her, like, on, on, on those things, she was like, I even asked her, like, but you said you want him to be your friend now. Why are you angry now? She was like, no, but it's just that, ah, he's play. seems like he was playing me, blah, 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 blah. And it seemed right, he was doing things, like, she started expressing how much she felt, you know. So, yes, this is the story. I hope you got it. Uh, if I didn't explain it, well, try to rewind and stuff and watch, yeah. But all in all, here is the thing about what I want you to understand. I got to realize that there is a problem with this lady in terms of she finally met the right guy but after meeting the right guy she loses interest on him but the moment she realized that he was playing her now she started to express how much she still likes him that she's it's like she's over him but it seems like when he was acting all good she started to even look at him as someone whom she can just friend zone you get what i'm saying so i look at this and she's a christian lady and all then I was like, this is exactly what I've been talking about with Chris, some of Christian women. They, it's not like they don't get a chance. I was like, you know, that, 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 that guy, even the cousin uh, can uh, attest that the, the, the lady B attests that the, this guy is a good guy. But the lady finally bumped into a good guy who would love her. But now she's so used to being in a toxic relationship. Now when she got a shot, it's obvious that she was going to friend zone him. Unless if she thinks we to change but. She got someone right instead of just grabbing him with both hands. You see what she was even planning? She was planning to even reject him. And now she's crying that, you know, things are not working out well. But it's not like God didn't give an answer. He did give an answer. He gave a good guy, but she couldn't capitalize on that. So that's what I want you to get, that you must learn to discipline your mind. I, I like what uh, Lady B said, the cousin of, of the guy. The cousin explained that, you know what, the, more, the, the, the history of this girl, Lady A, who is my friend, I noticed that as we were growing up, she's always been one girl who, who loved fantasizing about bad boys. She was like, she would look at Christian men and be like, I don't want a man who's too holy or who's too much of a Christian and blah, blah, blah. She always fantasizes of the bad boy behavior, you know, those things. So the Lady B actually tried to, to explain that, that could have been the cause. She needs to cleanse her mind because I think she got used to it. That's what Lady B said. And that's when, to me, like, it started to make sense. I was like, yeah, I think this is what I've been teaching, you know, uh, people. I've been trying to explain to some, just that I never went deep. This is the first video where I'm going deep with this. That some people, it's not like they don't get a chance. You get a chance, but someone just passes you by under your nose. You don't notice them. God gives you a shot, but just because the enemy can play with your mind, that's why the lady has to cleanse her mindset, discipline her mind that, that you know what, when, once I bump into a good guy, as much as I might feel turned off, let me at least give it a shot and see what happens after two months with him. And see if it still, I, won't, I wouldn't have still uh, uh, lost interest, if I won't gain interest, blah, 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 because sometimes it's, the, it's a bondage. The, the, the enemy keeps you in bondage and it makes you now fantasize about people who are bad for you. I once made a video about uh, uh, causes of marital delays. I mentioned some of the things that you're fantasizing a lot. I, I, I even personally have a friend who I realized this friend is so picky when it comes to men. And you can see that the person is now growing and not getting a real man. You can just tell that even when this uh, lady, she finally dates men, she's so picky. She make sure that everything is almost like everything is on point. And you find that some of those men, no one is perfect. They have faults. And those faults are the reason why it doesn't work out in the long run. And you realize that this, it, it keeps on going back to, 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 to square one. So, ladies, please, even men, watch out, okay? Even if I'm talking to you right now, look at yourself. When you bump to someone good, value that person. Try to give it a shot. Let there be a valid reason why you lose lost interest. Not because uh, you just got, you don't even understand, understand, you just got turned off and what. 
let it be maybe you realize that person is not a Christian. Maybe because you just realize that that person may be, um, maybe they're a liar, you know, those things which are very valid, which were well, not necessarily just because you just felt like sometimes it's a bondage. How can you stick with someone who's not good to you? That's all like uh, the, 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 the lady B, the, 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 the friend was able to say that this lady, you know, and that man is not good for her. But it seems like she's so attached. She has so much bond with him to then say that extent that we like, she can't leave him no matter what. And you can just see that something is wrong here. We can pray, pray, pray as much, decree and declare as much as we like, but you find that nothing works. But until you take an action, the Lord is just waiting for you to make a move. The Lord is waiting, ready to, to, to perform something great. Hallelujah. And that's what I wanted to share with you in today's video. Let me just cut it off. And if you enjoyed it, just like it, share it, as well as uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload new videos like this. And for prayer requests and spiritual advices, DM me on my Instagram or email me. The details are in the description of the video below. And as for me, Ishmael, and your priest, I will see you in the next video upload. Take care and stay blessed.